Radio Raw here with Anissa Estrada with some new hardware around your chest there. Uh, this has to be an incredible feeling, but in the ring, it was the war that everyone anticipated. Was it the fight you anticipated? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I knew I was going to come out with the victory. Felt confident and, um, you know, headbutt or not, I won on the judges' scorecards clearly and uh, I went, went in there and did what I had to do. Early in the fight, like we mentioned the headbutt, after the fight she said the headbutt was like a major factor for her. Did you recognize that she was affected by it and could give you an advantage early? Um, no, I didn't feel that she was affected by it, but I know in the ninth round um, she told the doctor, or she said that she couldn't see. So when you say you can't, you can't see in a fight when you're, when you're bleeding, um, it, you, that's, you pretty much quit. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know why it wasn't a technical knockout because of that, but uh, it's all good. I got the victory. <laughs> when they announced that she had stopped, it seemed like you thought it was a TKO. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At what point did you realize, oh no, this is going to the scorecard, it's not quite over yet? Yeah, I, I thought it was a TKO just because I, I heard her say I can't see. Um, but I was confident that I still won on the scorecards, yeah. Uh, obviously, she feels like she should get a rematch, that this is still unsettled. How do you feel? Um, no, it shouldn't get a rematch. She doesn't deserve a rematch whatsoever. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the scorecards say it all. Like, it wasn't wasn't a close fight. It wasn't a draw. So there's no reason why she should. I, she was going to cry about something. Uh, all, she always cries about stuff. So I know. <laughs> and so if not her, then where do you think this hardware should be up for grabs next? Um, well, I would like to continue to fight at 112. I mean, I'll take a fight at 112 if the fight's right, but I would like to go back down to 108 and uh, fight for uh, another title there, world, world title. Well, going all the way back down to 108, uh, do you feel like gaining this weight or whatnot, were you at a disadvantage fighting at 112 in the first place? Um, yes, because I walk around at like 112 pounds. So all week when I was here, I was eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I ate breakfast and lunch before we weighed in. Um, but at the same time, I've fought at 112 and girls who were like bantam weights in the beginning of my career because you know I, I I had to take any opponent they would give me just so I can stay active and I could fight so um, I, I'm used to I fought girls who were heavier and hit harder than her so um, yeah I was prepared <laughs> uh, well fighting someone that there's clearly a grudge match a lot of bad blood between you a bigger opponent and coming away with a, a belt winning a title what is the most satisfying or gratifying aspect of this win for you? Uh, the most satisfying is uh, that uh, I'm here right now and she's at the hospital getting stitches. So, hey. <laughs> Radio Raw here with the new cr pr crowned champion, Estrada. Congratulations tonight on a tough fight and an excellent win. Radio Raheem with Estrada.